Hello and Merry Vlogmas. I am packing everything up right now. We are going to Disneyland. Grace and I actually are going for a little mother-daughter trip. Driving up to Anaheim tonight because we actually got a hotel up there for two nights, which I am so excited about. We're gonna take advantage of it and get like a really early start tomorrow. Probably stay pretty late if Grace is doing good. Cause I don't even have to worry about like driving back after. We just go back to the room, go to sleep. And we're staying like on site at the Disneyland Hotel, which we never really do, so it feels extra special. And I'm just, I'm excited. So I guess I can zip up the suitcase now. Steven and Grace are on a walk, so they should be back pretty soon. And then Grace and I will say goodbye to Steven and head up to Anaheim. We're gonna miss you. I know. I is, uh, I'm, I'm exhausted and I, my day ends here. <laughs> no, but I'm so excited you guys are going. So like, you know, now the girls are off to Disneyland. I'm staying here. Um, just kind of gonna get caught up on some stuff. I got some projects around the house. I, I want to really redo my home office, like reorganize it. My, I like my furniture. I just got to reorganize everything. It's become like a, 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 a jungle of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the garage too. I got to work in the garage. So anyways, I'm going to be doing that. I'm actually going to hang out with my parents a little bit tomorrow. Um, it should just be a good, good couple days here. So, I, Grace is obviously excited. <laughs> I love you talking with your hands while holding an assortment of Gracie toys. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like, it's a win-win. You get your, your alone time, some time to just chill, redo your office, do your projects. Yep. And we get to go to Disneyland. I know. It was, a, it was an easy win-win. Yeah. So. You want to get going? Let's waste no more time. Woohoo! We did it, Grace. We're here. Who's that? Yeah. Mickey Mouse. Can you wave to him? Hi, Mickey. just having an absolute ball. We're in the room, flopping around on the bed. Ooh, should we have a Disney dance party before dinner? I think that is an excellent idea. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. The bellhop just brought our bags up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her pack and play set up, unpack a little bit, and then we're gonna head to downtown Disney and get dinner. I just woke up, it's a little bit before six. Grace is still asleep, so I'm gonna try and get myself fully ready, hopefully before she wakes up, and then I can get her up, get her dressed, and we'll head out. Early entry is at 7.30, but they open the security gates at seven. So my plan is to try to get down there at like 6.45. I'm so excited. Success. All right, I'm gonna put on my magic band and uh, start being not so quiet because it's time for Grace to wake up. So my plan with our 30 minute early entry time is to try and knock out as many of the Fantasyland rides that Grace likes as possible in actually probably the first hour of the day because even the 30 minutes after opening is still gonna be not so crowded. So Fantasyland just gets really packed as the day goes on. I'm hoping today will be, will be a case of the early birds getting the worm. So I gotta go wake up my early little bird. Gracie. Good morning, sweet pea. Is that the outfit you'd like to wear? Yeah. You wanna wear your princess dress? Or do you wanna wear your Mickey and Friends shirt? Yeah. Princess dress. Okay, let's get you dressed. Yeah. You have Ariel on your dress? Who else? Yeah. Cinderella yeah. and Belle. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna do your hair. You wanna watch the Frozen story time? On the TV here, they have a story time tab. Yes, would you like to do the Frozen one? We did one of these last night too. They have just like a couple little stories being read. <coughs> yeah, it's Frozen. <coughs> there you go, my friend. You wanna go? Yeah, that's Peter Pan. Do you wanna do that ride first? Yeah, okay, that's a great one to start with. Let's get your shoes on. Alrighty, strollers all packed. We're waiting for the elevator. Actually, we're not waiting anymore. Here it is. Nope, that one was going up. This one's going down. 
Gracie's having some puffs. She had a yogurt pouch too. I think she'll be good until we have like a, a solid breakfast around like 9.30. Gotta push the door open with my foot. So that's the exit from the Disney Hotel. They also have the big Sorcerer Mickey hat here. That's the more like grand entrance. Yes, look at that. You see Tinkerbell up there? But where we're going, well, where we're gonna be going is through downtown Disney there when it opens at seven. But for now, we're getting in this line. Who's on your sweatshirt? Mickey Mouse? Yay, they're opening the gates. All right, it is 7.10 and we, we're in one of the first batches of people to line up at the gate. Thank you. Now to beeline for Fantasyland and get as much done as we possibly can. <laughs> to get on ride number six six rides in an hour it's 8 25 right now i'm shocked i thought we'd get a lot done i did not think six rides that's so much so i actually just placed a mobile order for our breakfast that we're gonna go get after this at the red rose tavern but right now it is storybook land time gracie what does the whale look like on the storybook ride <laughs> Actually, um, hopping on Snow White before breakfast since we have a little bit of time before our pickup window. Should be ready any minute now. Okay. Yeah, that's our food. All right, we got our breakfast all situated. I got the vegan breakfast bowl. I've had this before here and it is fantastic. I think the best plant-based breakfast in the park, hands down. And then for Grace, I got her a little breakfast bowl with eggs, tater tots, a croissant, and then I just, uh, yeah, I divvied some of it up on your plate. Is it yummy? Good. So we were gonna eat and then really just kind of slow things down a bit. Maybe ride Winnie the Pooh, walk around through Star Wars lands. Ooh, ooh, do you wanna try some of my bowl? It's gonna be, it might be a little spicy. You can try it. There you go. Mmm, you like it? No. <laughs> okay. I'm proud of you for trying something new. Kind of looks like Bella. It actually does kind of look like Bella. <laughs> We just finished walking around Galaxy's Edge for a while. There is so much stuff for Grace to look at here and like interact with. Even though she can't do any of the rides here, I feel like this is just a really fun area to run around and explore. So I just got her back in the stroller and now we are walking over to Winnie the Pooh, which was definitely one of her favorites last time we were here. So maybe if the line's short, we'll even do it twice. And then timing for that should work out pretty well because it's about 10.15 right now. And we have a lightning lane for Haunted Mansion at 10.45. We're going on two! Yay! Her enthusiasm for this ride is so real. There it is! Thank you. There's Pooh! Oh my 
gosh, there's Tigger and Santa. We're gonna see if we can pop in line for the meet and greet here. Tigger and Santa? Tigger and Santa. Oh Look my goodness. Right up here on this path on your right. Thank you so much. I didn't know if she knew who Santa was, but she pointed at him and said, so I think maybe at some level she does. Yeah, there's Tigger. And there's snow. Gave us a candy cane. We met Tigger and Santa. Grace was a little apprehensive about Santa at first, but by the end she warmed up. She gave him a high five, said bye. I think that was a, a great first Santa interaction. I'm pretty sure the first time I met Santa as a little kid, I just cried on sight, so it's pretty good. So Haunted Mansion is down, which means we get a multiple experiences pass. And what's cool about this is we can use it on a bunch of these rides, most of which usually don't even have lightning lane. So like if we want to do Dumbo again, we can use this and we don't have to wait in the full line. Hi boat, hi people. More boat, okay, we could follow it. Oh my gosh, they have little Mickey beignet ears and they're scented. Ooh, you like the boas? I'm testing this uh, this little seat thing for Grace today. It's called the Tush Baby. I'm gonna do just like a little YouTube short TikTok testing it, but so far I really like it. It's super convenient. It, it's definitely bulky though, having like the seat sticking out, but the convenience makes everything worth it. What would you like more of, lovey? More shops? Okay, let's go to the next shop. All right, it is a little afternoon now. We, we had a tough, 20 minutes just now. I knew Grace needed to nap. Grace did not want to nap. She was having a ball. So getting her to sleep was tough, but all is well now. I'm sipping a mint julep. She's napping in the stroller. I think I'm just gonna walk around a little bit, enjoy like the atmosphere of Disney. I think that's one of the things that makes me like a Disney adult to my core. I don't even have to be at Disneyland like riding rides, eating food, watching shows, like just being here is enough. I just, I love the atmosphere. So we're gonna walk and enjoy. Look at all the Christmas decorations too. That, that makes it even better. Like Disney atmosphere is already like a 10 out of 10. Sprinkle a little bit of Christmas in there. It's off the charts. <laughs> been so nice like just walking around taking a little bit of b-roll of the decorations enjoying the view grace sound asleep this has been fantastic pretty soon at one o'clock here we're gonna be park hopping over to dca and actually it's so funny we didn't plan this but my little brother and his girlfriend bethany are here today too we didn't realize that we were going on the same day until yesterday <laughs> they're here for their anniversary so we don't want to we don't want to crash their party too much but we are meeting up for lunch. They started at California Adventure. We started at Disney, so you can park hop after one o'clock. So we're gonna head over there and then uh, Grace will probably be waking up soon and we'll get some lunch with them. Maybe maybe ride a couple rides. I think they said they wanna do a little mermaid with Grace. So that'll be fun. Cause last time we were here at Halloween, she went absolutely nuts for Little Mermaid. <laughs> All right, Girlie is still napping, but it is one o'clock. So we're headed to DCA. And I've got my magic band now, which is linked to my ticket. So I don't even have to get my phone out to get in. Thank Perfect, you. thank you so thank much. Thank you. I feel like usually when Grace is napping in the stroller, I'm like, oh, come on, like just make it to 30 minutes or 45. And like as long as of a nap as we can get, the better, because then she'll be more refreshed and I get a little break. But right now I low key just kind of want her to wake up. <laughs> like I'm not gonna wake her up because I know, oh, that's bright. I know she needs to sleep, but like it, it's been almost an hour and a half now, I, I miss her. I wanna have more Disney fun together. And we will, we will. So here is where we're gonna be having lunch in a half hour. We're able to snag a last minute reservation. But Austin and Bethany said they are over by Little Mermaid right now. So I'm heading there to meet them. Look who it is! Oh my, you guys in your matching hats. Stop. We did something there. We did something. Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. Aww. Grace is still sleeping. I so, I know. I'm like, this is like the longest stroller nap ever. I, that's what I'm, I'm hoping for. Little sleepy girl. Yeah. yeah. For me, high five. 
Yeah. Well, we had a great lunch here, and now Grace, Grace is itching to go to where? Where do you want to go? That way? What's that way? Ariel, yeah. Yeah, we just have to pay and then we'll go. Grace was just like so hyped getting onto this ride and I thought it would be fun for her to ride with Austin and Bethany but I didn't know if, if like she would want to if she'd be comfortable and she totally was so she got to ride with them one more time <laughs> we didn't even get off we like yeah. barely stopped and she's like more, more. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am so glad we met up with Austin and Bethany. That was so much fun. Like lunch was fun, going on Little Mermaid was fun. But I think the most fun part was literally just running around. We like ran around in front of the Ferris wheel for a little while and we took some photos. Grace chased us around. It was just, it was so fun, so wholesome. So we said goodbye to them. They're actually heading over to Disneyland now. Grace and I just got off the Golden Zephyr ride, which I, I think is probably another one of her favorites. Um, but right now we are making our way over to the Disney Junior dance party We're hoping to catch the last one of the day. That's at 4. It's about 3 50 So honestly, I should probably do less vlogging more walking <laughs> Ooh, You see the bear? He's so festive in his little sweater, isn't he? Do you know what we're gonna do? Dance! Yeah, we're gonna dance with Mickey and Doc McStuffins. Yeah, there she is. We made it! Junior dance party was super fun, super cute. I'm definitely glad that we made it. Now we've got about an hour and a half until our dinner reservation at Goofy's Kitchen back at the Disneyland Hotel. I've never eaten there before, but it's character dining, so I'm sure Grace is gonna love it. So right now we're actually heading back over to Little Mermaid. I think we're gonna do that again, maybe twice. She loves it so much and we don't really have, well, I mean, we don't have anything we have to do, but we don't have any actual plans between now and dinner. So would you like some more water, my love? Thank you. Gotta stop and fill up her water. I refilled her water and now she wants nothing to do with it, but that's that's toddlerhood for you. Um, but yes, okay, so dinner. Back at the hotel and then the plan is to to go back to the room after, put on our like cozy nighttime clothes, kind of regroup for the night, see how we're feeling, and then probably head back to Disneyland. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might leave the stroller in the room for that like last leg of our evening. I think, I think traveling lighter for the evening sounds nice. Then we can also like use the monorail and stuff, which is complicated with the stroller because you have to fold it down. You got to take everything out. So I'm kind of feeling no stroller for the evening, but I may live to regret that. <laughs> we'll see. The the little tush baby seat has been clutch so i'm thinking i bring that and like a pared down version of the diaper bag and we'll be good yeah there she is here we go again okay we can do it one more time before dinner okay one more time well that was super super fun and now grace we get to go have dinner with mickey yeah do you want to go have dinner with mickey Yes, we're gonna go to Goofy's Kitchen. I, I think I'm gonna need a coffee with that dinner because I am losing some steam here, but I'm committed. We're gonna rally. Here we are. Do you see Goofy? Yay. Oh, he kissed your hand. Can you blow him a kiss? Oh. Goofy's making your food. It's gonna be so yummy, huh? Yum, 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 yum. Um, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi.
was so excited to meet you. She asked for you to come right here. Yeah, and look, she did. There she is. You know, Minnie helped cook the food. You can say thank you. Thank you, yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye, Minnie, thank you. That was so special. All right, we are getting ready to head back out to the park. Yes, that's what you wanna do? Go where? Go out there. <laughs> she has absolutely gotten her second wind. Honestly, I don't know if she ever lost it. <laughs> I, I'm getting there. I had, uh, they didn't have coffee, but I had a Coke. So I'm a little caffeinated. I think, I think a sprinkle of Disney magic and I will be good to go. <laughs> yes, it says D for Disneyland. Yes. And who's on your sweater? Mickey. Yes. Yes. You want to go into Disneyland? Yes. So I am, in fact, going to leave the stroller, bring just the tush baby. I can fit all of my essentials plus like four diapers and half a pack of wipes. So I feel like that should be good. It's um, a little before eight right now. I wasn't thinking we'd actually make it till midnight, but now I kind of think we might. We had a great time at dinner too. Um, of course, seeing all the characters and stuff is really special with Grace. But also um, there was a little yeah. girl. Yes, with you, Grace. But also there was a little girl seated near us who Grace just absolutely adored. They were playing together, having a ball. So we ended up staying at dinner for a while, which was really fun. Now getting into our cozy nighttime fits. Yes, are you ready? Oh, you're so cute in your hat. Yee. Okay, let's go. Do you wanna take the train? Choo choo, yeah. Grace loves the monorail. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> It is 11 p.m. This is the current status of Grace. Are you spinning again? Whoa! We met back up with Austin and Bethany. And if Grace had her second wind before, this has got to be her eighth wind. Are you spinning like the teacups? What do the teacups do? That's what the whale does. What do the teacups do? They spin in a circle. Yeah, spinning! Yay! My little Disney baby. <laughs> I guess we're making it till midnight after all. <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> Like literally 12.01, we just got off the monorail, we're walking back to the hotel and Grace keeps signing again. <laughs> yeah, again. You wanna go to Disneyland again? We actually are coming back in uh, just the end of next week. So it's not too long of a wait. And then we're coming with Dada. Yeah, we're gonna go again. All right, it is 12.15. Grace is asleep in her pack and play. And I came into the bathroom to wash my face, get ready for bed, all the things. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring the vlog camera in here with me just so that I can like talk and vlog and kind of debrief from today without waking Grace up. So here we are. <laughs> First of all, just such a magical day. Oh my gosh, today was amazing. And I feel like there there is very much the sentiment of like, don't bring your baby to Disneyland. They won't remember it. It's not gonna be enjoyable. It's a waste of money. You know, I feel, I feel like we've all heard this. And I have to say, I disagree so much. I actually think this today grace at uh 17 months is like a perfect age 
for Disney. Like, yeah, she's not gonna remember it, but she still had like the most amazing day. She had so much fun. I had so much fun. Like the age she's at now, she's excited about everything. She recognizes a lot of the characters. She's understanding what's going on, but she's still like pretty chill and pretty go with the flow. So it's really easy to, to navigate the day. But also compared to when we took her here when she was 12 months old, actually she was like 11 months. It was right before her birthday. Then she was a lot less independent. She wasn't walking. So she always had to be held and now with that little bit of extra independence It makes it easier on me because sometimes she wants to walk. I think it's also more fun for her Disneyland also just has so many rides with no height or age restrictions So there's like more than enough for us to fill the day Like we actually didn't get to quite a few of the rides that I wanted to for her like Jungle Cruise, Inside Out, Buzz Lightyear Even things like I wanted to take her to the Tiki Room I was planning on taking her to the um, like Royal Royal Princess Hall where all the princesses do their meet and greets and the day just went by so fast We did so much we didn't end up getting to everything But we actually are coming back again for another Disney day But with Steven this time in just like a week, so we'll put everything on on the list for that day Oh, also big benefit to this age. She's free. She still doesn't need a ticket. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just happy. It was just such such a good day and I just enjoyed every moment of it except <laughs> Except maybe that 20 minutes before her nap. That was tough. But other than that, it was just like flawless, seamless, so much fun. It was also such a treat to get to meet up with Austin and Bethany. They are just so sweet with her and, and she just adores them. And I, I really cannot believe we made it till midnight. That's nuts. <laughs> also, I had already started to lose my voice before this trip because of when I went to Disneyland with Carrie and then immediately the next night went out to sing karaoke for my friend's birthday. And I didn't think this trip would make it any worse because I'm like, oh, we're not going on thrill rides. I'm not going to scream. But uh, Grace and I definitely did do our fair bit of shrieking and uh, excited squealing. But you know what? I'll wear it with a badge of honor. <laughs> Even though I have a podcast shoot on Monday and I would like to not sound like this. <laughs> Anyways, um, that is going to be it for this vlog. Tomorrow, Grace and I are going to check out of the room and then I think just spend some time running around downtown Disney before we drive back home. So uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon with the next vlogmas. Bye!